One of my particular interests is that of esophageal ablation for Barrett's esophagus. This is a common condition in which the cells of the esophagus change and Barrett's tissue can rarely become dysplastic or turn into cancer. We do have the capability of ablating and destroying those cells before cancer develops. When Barrett's esophagus is progressing and the cells are becoming abnormal, sometimes that can lead to cancer. And so early changes in Barrett's that look like it's changing to cancer or even sometimes early stage cancers that are not yet deeply invading, they can be cured with endoscopic mucosal resection or in some cases radiofrequency ablation. So we've been able to save patients uh, significant uh, complications of having major surgery, which is not a good thing to have done if you can avoid it for sure. One of the great things about esophageal ablation is that we could frequently avoid the need for surgery, including removal of the esophagus. So the standard of care now is ablation for early cancers and dysplasia.